Hello everyone, today we're going to make halloumi pies which are delicious pies filled with halloumi. You will need one cup of light olive oil, one cup of Greek yogurt and one egg. Whisk that together and then one teaspoon of white wine vinegar and one teaspoon of baking powder. Then I've got 500 grams of plain flour, which I sift in in thirds. I bring it together with a whisk and then I switch to my hand because it becomes too thick for the whisk. Once it comes together, just roll it on the surface for a little bit and put it back in a bowl. And I just leave it to rest while I'm making the filling. For the filling, I use 500 grams of coarsely grated halloumi two to three teaspoons of dried mint and then mix that through and then I bind it together with two eggs. Make balls out of the dough and set them aside. To make the pie, roll the ball of dough and flatten it with the palm of your hand and your fingers and then I measure it with a bowl to make sure it's the size I want. Press down and then you get the shape. Then I add two tablespoons of the mixture to the pastry, probably a little bit more than the one I'm showing you because it was the end of the mixture. And then we fold that over. What I should have done was folded the side with more pastry down, but I did it the other way. So it doesn't matter though, as long as it folds and you can seal it, then once it's in the shape you want, press the sides in with a fork just to stop any spillage, although that didn't work for me as you'll see later. Then we have one egg for the egg wash and we brush the pies with the egg wash. Now I was in two minds whether to share this recipe with you because I'm not the best baker. I can bake and it tastes good but it never looks great and as you can see these look very rustic but I figured not everyone's going to be a great baker and they might want to try them. So I'm going to show you anyway. Then I have some sesame seeds, which I'm sprinkling on top. That is optional, but I like them. And then bake these for 15 to 20 minutes at 180 C fan. When they come out of the oven, put them on a wire rack to cool. As you can see, mine did spill out a little bit, but it's very easy to make them look pretty. You just take it off with a knife as I have done and the pastry cracked a little bit probably because I overfilled them but again I don't care they taste really good and that's the important thing the pastry is crispy the filling is plentiful and I hope you enjoy these let me know if you make them and if you like them and I'll see you next time